Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on timecode for video. There are many different types of timecode, so I'm only going to concentrate on two of the most common ones, drop frame and non-drop frame. When television was first invented, it was black and white, and in those days video ran at 30 frames per second in North America. This was because the power in our electrical outlets alternates back and forth in polarity 60 times per second. We call this 60 Hz AC current. It made sense to make TV's frame rate some easy multiple of that because television equipment in those days was susceptible to problems with 60 cycle hum, which showed up as a distortion in the video picture. With a 30 frame video rate, if hum got into the picture, it would at least be still, not rolling up or down the frame, which would be really annoying while you were trying to watch TV. So, 30 frames per second. Then color television was invented. With color television, we encoded the color information within the black and white video signal. Now, this color encoding meant we had to introduce a high frequency wave called color subcarrier, which had within it all information of what color something was, or its hue, and how much color was present, called its saturation. When they introduced color subcarrier into the 30 frame per second video, the color subcarrier was visible on black and white TV sets as a fine mesh rolling across the screen. Really annoying, isn't it? To get around this problem, we slowed down the rate of color television just a little bit. The new frame rate was 29.97 frames per second, not 30. Black and white TV sets really didn't seem to notice the slightly slower frame rate, and so our new color television standard was compatible with the millions of black and white television sets that were already out there in consumers' homes. Then, when electronic videotape editing came along, there had to be a way of labeling each individual frame so we could do accurate editing. Timecode was invented to do this. You're listening to Timecode, the way it sounds when you're recording it as an audio track. But there were two television standards out there, the old 30 frame per second one, and our new, slightly slower color standard. So two types of timecode were created, non-drop frame for the old black and white standard, and drop frame to properly label the newer color footage. You'll often hear of timecode called SIMPTI timecode. SIMPTI stands for the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, who were the folks that standardized timecode in North America. You've been watching two streams of timecode since this video started. On the top, I've displayed non-drop frame timecode. On the bottom, drop frame. They show the frame labeling in hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. For the most part, they look exactly the same, but watch what happens every minute. Non-drop frame timecode doesn't lose any numbers at all, but drop frame timecode drops a couple of digits. Frames 00 and 01 are left out of the counting. This is to compensate for the slightly slower frame rate of color television. Remember though, we're not dropping any frames in our video content, we're simply dropping numbers in the labeling system that we use. This almost perfectly accommodates the difference between the two standards. However, it overdoes it just a little bit. So, the timecode rule is, drop 00 and 01 every minute, except multiples of 10 minutes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 minutes into a program. See here? When we get to 10 minutes, the frame labels aren't dropped from the drop frame timecode standard. Nowadays, even black and white footage is shot at 29.97 frames per second, so we use the same timecode for everything. It's important to know the difference between these two timecode systems so you don't accidentally label your video with the wrong standard when recording or editing. Most people use timecode to check the length of their video production as well. And if you labeled your color television video with non-drop frame timecode, your one hour show wouldn't actually be an hour. It would be a little more than three and a half seconds too long. So, watch your timecode. 